Right, this is just a quick video to show you how to remote your station. Just qu some quick tests. This is Raspberry Pi version 2. I have flashed a remote QDH um, SD card. This is the radio. I attached it through the USB port to the CAT port to the Raspberry. And here is another computer and the local network. Let's see this. Here you go. With this IP, I get into the remote QDH server. I already sort of customized it. So in the settings control, you can actually go to recontrol the uh, part and set all those uh, specific things for your radio. This is the sort of uh, the device you're using. And here you have the list of all those radios. Uh, in this case, I have an FT450, so it's line 127, FT450. Once you did everything, you just click to apply. Uh, you need to replug the USB in order to basically get all those changes uh, saved. And then into control, web rig. Let's see, here you go, 28032.5, 28032.5, uh, of course you can sort of tune it, I just split window, so you have a much wider window, let's see if I can just move it a little bit, here it is, uh, and we can go up, say, to 40 and here it is 40.5 let's just oh wait a minute just so you can listen to it uh, let's change frequency It has some sort of light, so you don't. Let's try to move it from the VFO, basically. And let's see if it moves. Of course, you can also change mode. Let's see, let's go to USB and say, let's see what's up here. Yeah, perfect. Here it is. So it's basically rather easy this part. Uh, I will have to go through especially the settings for the CW part because uh, this is getting some sort of uh, issues to me actually in order to get this CW daemon to work. Uh, seems like it's not it's not actually controlling it right. 
but uh, well, I will have to dig deeper in that. Thanks for watching 73.